Quentin Whitehead, I'm the leadership facilitator here um, at Northwestern University. What we did today, uh, which is conflict resolution, um, getting students to understand that conflict is inevitable, but how do you deal with it and handle it in the moment when it's happening? I think it, it really shows them what leadership is really about, right? Um, I always tell people before you can lead others, you have to first learn how to lead yourself. So what they do is they actually get to learn about who they are as a person um, and then how that goes into their leadership experience. And then um, conflict is learning how do I deal with conflict? Do I, do I shy away from it? Uh, do I hit it head on? Do I try to smooth it over? Um, so they learn that kind of stuff in my leadership sessions. I think that it's more predicated on themselves and then on to other people. My name is Evan, and I'm from Alchemist, Michigan. In this exercise, we were presented with a situation in which we had a bomb shelter, and we had uh, 10 people, and a nuclear explosion went off. Because of that, we had to remove some people from the shelter to be able to last that one month period on the rations that we had. Which five people of the 10 that we were presented with we had to remove? I'm Chinazo. I'm from Illinois. In the small groups, we agreed on the five people we wanted to keep, but then we combined groups with other people, and then that's when the conflict started. And so I decided we should take a vote. Um, I agreed with what was the majority, so I was happy, but uh, people still were mad, so. My name is uh, Varun, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. What I learned from this exercise is that the things you want can't always happen for the group. And so it's important to compromise and collaborate with others and because it'll be much easier, much better in the future to have a, to achieve the goal together and much commerce consensus.